Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Birds of Paradise in terms of longer term holds. Uh, this card I remember seeing at under $100. It was like $90 or $80 a few years ago when EDH became, um, EDH became a popular format. Now the card has been over $300 sold out on TCG Player. It's around the same price point. On eBay, people are trying to get 350 buy it nows, but that's always, you know, buy it now scenario, best offer scenario. But when you're talking about longer term investment into this game, it is quite possible, but you want to put it in stuff that you can enjoy. Uh, Birds of Paradise foil, I do have a copy. I have a foil of every 7th edition card. And I picked it up because I enjoyed it, not because I expected the value to go up or... I felt like, hey, this would be an investment, quote unquote, investment opportunity just because I know how hard it is to sell one of these. Uh, it's insanely hard to find one of them and it's insanely hard to sell them. You have to find a unique buyer. So though the value seems very high, the liquidness, uh, how liquid the asset is, is extremely low. But if you enjoy the game and you find uh, something that you uh, a card that you love, a set that you love. I love 7th edition, 8th edition, uh, 9th edition, 10th edition. I just enjoy collecting them because they re remind me of when I was playing Magic the most. Then go ahead and do it because it's not going to be a terrible thing because when I look at the set, and again, storage, and I'm moving some stuff around, I just found a very beautiful set of 7th edition uh, which I'll make a video of my story sometime later. And it's crazy, right? Because I expected the card to go down in price. I was like, oh, $80, $90 is way too much for this card, but I guess I'll buy it just so I can complete my collection. Sarah Angel is also incredibly expensive in this set. Um, and it, it turned out okay. It turned out okay. So that's probably my best advice for uh, people looking to get into Magic uh, Finance is buy stuff that you enjoy. Um, if you don't enjoy it, don't buy it. Um, don't buy something just to try to make money from it because most times it's going to end up poorly. But if you buy something, you enjoy it, and then you make money from it, that's a really great feeling. And Birds of Paradise, wow, that card has just skyrocketed in price. I would have never expected this. And honestly, my goal at that time was to get a play set of all 7th edition cards. Uh, obviously, it was very difficult to do, but I should have probably made more of an effort to do so. Anyway, uh, leave me a comment. What is your favorite set? What is your favorite card? And you know, how many of those do you own? Uh, mine is Falia, clearly. Um, both Falias are good, in my opinion. Anyway, bye guys.